Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You watching for today. The suicide loader is innovation in Android world to boot the third party JSA before actually flashing them via fast boot or to test Android application on the latest Android versions with or without root access. Our channel tries thousands of such JSA on our devices. After testing their pros and cons, we create the in-depth review of such JSA builds. So today we brought you another most famous third party custom roms developer community lineages and their first android 15 based lineages 22 gsi i tried it on my oneplus 9rd and it successfully booted today in this video we will thoroughly discuss how this works its android 15 features and finally i shown the major issue of this gsi for oneplus 9rd bugs or the issues may differ as per your device so watch this video till the end. Now with the further ado, let's get started. If you don't know how to try this JSI on any Android device running Android 12 and above versions, please check our video playlist given in the video description. JSI file given in the video description is only bootable on the ARM64 AB devices. It will not work on any other system architecture. So this lineage was 22 booted on my OnePlus 9RT. If you check the about device details after flashing the JSI, we got the new test of Android 15. While in Azure's 22 GSI, which was built at on the 9th December 2024, security patches of old date it's of October 2024. Signature Easter egg of in Azure's is amazing. Like all the Android version, they have this octopus Easter egg hidden game in their build number. Except this kernel version and build number will be same like stock primary ROM you are using on your device. So using DSSI loader, you can boot any such GSI on your device, but it needs the intensive trial and testing. We are simplifying these things for all of you guys by testing such builds. Major part of this GSI is what's working because most of GSI has issues regarding the major functions. But for OnePlus 9RD, most of the things are working as you can check in this video. But these things may differ as per your device you are using. Bugs and issues related to the OnePlus 9RD are discussed in the respective timeline of this video. We all know that Lineage OS are pure vanilla builds and they didn't have much customization features except some basic add-ons. You will find them under the system setting of your device. Here you will get all the status bar customization, gesture control. Even you got this new OT updater for the GSI builds if they are provided by the maintenance of this GSI. Except these multiple other features are added by the developer in the pre table setting. These are add-ons of the customization made available by the original developer Fusion for GSI. This customization setting is complete hub of all the OEM's features like Samsung, OnePlus, etc. Who can enable the VLT calling feature for MediaTek and Snapdragon devices if your device is not having any VLT calling while using such GSI. But note down this will not work for the Samsung devices. Major intention of using the latest JSI for all the users is to test the new Android features. So this build has most of Android 15 features working. First one is the new wallpapers customizations. We can change the wallpaper style. We can expand them or minimize as per our wish. We can also get the preview of wallpapers before applying them. Next is the new private space available in the security setting of the device. We can add multiple users for the same device and the private space for another user and their application will be available at the bottom of the app drawer. This can be accessible only via fingerprint unlock or the pin or password for the specific user only. 
Next is the new settings panel of Android 15. This one is a small user interface change where you get the rounded search bar at the top of the setting and the about device section will be available in the middle of the settings panel instead of bottom like old Android versions. Who gets this new screensaver with some minor changes where you can preview all the screensaver before actually applying them. I especially like this clock screensaver where you can change everything like its style, color, clock text, etc. This screensaver looks nice when you connect them on the dock. Except these features, other Android 15 features are missing in this build. We can discuss them in the bugs timeline of this video. Now let's review what are the major issues or the missing features of this JSI. As you know that the lineages are the stock when labels without any tweaks to bypass the security issues. So obviously safety net bypass is failed in this build. Similarly device and the strong integrity checks are also got failed. Even the Google Play product is not certified for the GSI. These can be major concerns but you can bypass these issues by rooting the GSI. I have given the video link in the description to bypass these issues for the GSI build. Some Android 15 features are missing for this GSI like adaptive vibration. Actually this one is not fully integrated in any custom ROMs or the GSI. It's exclusively available for the Pixel devices only. Except this Android 15 new theft protection setting is also not available in this build. New expanded volume panel is also not integrated here. It seems Linux was still using the old same Android custom ROMs panel here. If you are really concerning about the issues of the JSI, you can easily reboot back to your original stock ROM. If you install the JSI using the DUC sideloader, just tap on the reboot or manually reboot your device and it will boot back to the stock OS you are using. That's why I always recommend you to use the DUC sideloader application to first boot such JSI builds, test them and if you think they are really daily drivable then you can use the sticky mode or the fast boot flashing of the ROM to permanently install them on your device. So that's it for today guys. In the upcoming days we are trying to boot the stock custom JSR like One UI, Oxygen OS, Hyper OS on any device. That's why we encourage you to please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.